The 2021 Caterman Academy kicks off in less than a week and luckily I had the chance to start living the dream and following the footsteps of Giants in preparation for the first race of the season, the Kerbera Sprint. you're doing i don't know whether you know but i've got a race in a couple of weeks time i've got to get some practice in yes yes but you're looking more like jeremy clarkson hooning around on his big runway than jim clark and precise driving <laughs> first race curve bra, sprint race closed no practice which is why paul you need a plan just give me a few minutes Welcome to Kerbera! So there you have it, Paul. You've got your very own Kerbera to play on all day long. Now, don't go crazy at first. You'll learn the line, build up slowly, progressively, faster and faster. But just to make it a little bit more interesting, I've, uh, well, I've got someone to set a lap time for you to try to get near. <laughs> So no pressure then, just a solid lap time from the best stick that has ever walked this earth. Sorry Perry and whoever else you currently are, but it was time to make Tiff proud. <laughs> Where am I going? <laughs> wow, so wide there. I don't think, I don't think Mr. Stig did the same line as that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now this is the bit that I get confused at. I told you about trying to go too fast too soon. I saw you miss the code on that last run. Oh, told you to build in. up slowly. How much off of Mr. Collins' lap time do you well, think you are at the I moment? I dread to think. It was a bit... I, was too, I took your advice. I took it really slow. And then went mad. I know. I went kind of from slow yes, to mad. Yeah. Nothing in between. So, then you're only a couple of seconds off. I'm so uh, sure that's very encouraging. Yeah, it is encouraging. So just build up. Last run, you went, missed the chicane. Would have crashed in a real track. Good job we've got a big airfield. But third gear in that first left-hander. Go on. It's fair to say it was pretty slow progress, but thankfully, things were beginning to improve. That's 
better. You've halved the gap to Ben now. I'm knackered. Knackered? What do you mean? I can you the long 24 hours. You've run 10 laps. I've had enough of this timekeeper. I'm off for a cup of coffee. <laughs> you go round and round. Keep going, keep going. Well, thanks, Dad. So after lots and lots and lots of laps, there was only one thing for it, to get into the zone, TIFF style. the watch. Let's see how much he's improved. So it was my time, my final run to see how close I could get to the Stig. Well, ex-Stig Ben. Paul, you're looking a bit tired, Paul. Your hair's gone. I don't care about my hair, I care about my time. Well, I think we might make a racing driver of you yet. I mean, okay, you did about two and a half thousand laps to Ben's two, but you've now equaled his time. I've equaled the x Stig's time? Yeah, with a lot more laps. There's only one way to go from here, sadly. <laughs> this is probably going to be down. So look, we've got the driving sorted, but I'm a bit worried about the fitness now. You're going to have to go down the gym. I'm on a 10k run every morning. Run? I can't even run a bath. <sighs> Sit-ups, press-ups. Oh, no chance. No chance. So what have we learned? Give a Stig one lap and an amateur 100 laps, together with some tuition from an ex-Formula 1 driver, and you get pretty close. Sadly, it's going to be a level playing field when the season kicks off next week, so for me, it's back to the drawing board.